Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest is bout number seven of the evening. This fight brought to you by the official betting partner of the Muay Thai League, Palmerbet. Go to the Palmerbet Net app now and you can bet on each fight to the main event this evening. Five by two minute rounds in the mini flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Danny Pinto out of Pinto Muay Thai with an official weight of 47.69 kilograms, 13 fights. Eight wins, five losses. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Fanny Tomatino. <laughs> and across the ring is her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, trained by Mika Taylor, out of Taylor made Muay Thai. With an official weight last night, she came in at 47 kilograms even. 11 fights, 10 wins, one loss. Fighting out of Brisbane, she is the current WBC Australian Mini Flyweight Champion, Lucille! <laughs> the injured, referee in charge is Rod. Both fighters, Y Crew, Ramon. Now, of course, one of the beauties about having an international opponent is we don't know what to expect sometimes. They, this is true. What um, is going to happen? We've seen Lucy, you know, on a tear of late. We've seen Lucy time and time again. Fanny recently returned from quite a long layoff. Um, came back to sport after a few years away and has been taking on nothing but top-class opposition. She, in her last three fights, has fought the Canadian number one, the United States number one, now comes halfway around the world to fight the Australian number one. So um, she's got the experience. She's been taking high-class opposition, and, and she's looking for an upset here. And hey, look, take it on. I mean, her last fight was actually three. Three in one weekend. Three in one weekend, yeah. That included um, some uh, top-ranked North American opposition. So just fighting the best all in one weekend. Yeah. Why not? Pretty much. And we're going to come here and fight Australia's best. Yeah, I was actually interviewing Fanny uh, just backstage before she had her hands wrapped. She's calm. Uh, she's very appreciative of the opportunity to come to Australia, but um, she's not just here to get in there with Lucy. She's here to upset the local crowd. Look, and she said she's had a lot of support. Uh, Ray Winter T there has, has um, soaked up the cost for her for her strength and conditioning and nutrition. She's had a lot of support from her from her co uh, her workmates back in America, supporting her, her venture into Muay Thai, not just as a fighter, but as a police officer in Las Vegas. Yeah, I've actually spent some time training at Pinto Muay Thai over there in Las Vegas. Uh, I got to know Danny and Susie, who are in the corner uh, quite well. Incredible little gym, really about pushing an authentic style of Muay Thai in a country that uh, globally is not really known for it. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's the flag that they're looking to fly tonight. Um, show in a highly regarded country such as Australia, a foundation state like Queensland that the yeah. Americans can hang. Yeah, and, and what a great opponent to do it against. Definitely. Let's let's just start at the top, right? <laughs> let's go through the rules. Up into the back of the head, please. Watch the groin strikes. If there is an eight count, I'll send the person who calls it to the nearest neutral corner. I won't start counting until you go there. Obey my instructions at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Do you have any questions? Go back to your corners. We'll touch balls in the first. Thank you. Judge. 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 You know, Lucy said earlier, you know, MTL, it, it's starting to feel like home for a lot of fighters. We've got a lot yep. of favourites. Um, you know, Lucy is an Australian favourite. She, she's here now. And what what a way to keep moving this up, Hugh. Yeah. This one's scheduled five rounds. Lucille, certainly all the makings of a superstar. Putting together the wins to prove it would be a big accolade to take out USA's Fanny Tomasino. Very busy, busy opening to the round from Fanny. A lot of movement from Tomasino. A lot of movement. I wonder, are they, are they looking to be disruptive right from the get-go? Coach Danny did tell me Fanny's got great footwork and that was a focus for them in preparation. Lucy ch chopping away at the legs, perhaps trying to take some of that movement away. Look, and, and, and knowing that Lucy likes the leg kick, you know, sometimes the movement works for you, sometimes against you. Yes. Uh, a stark contrast in just how the two move. 
A lot of movement from Tomasino. Yeah, Lucy Tomasino just moving a lot. Just waiting for the moment. They're still not chasing her. Just kind of measuring. Measuring with her eyes. We've got five rounds to figure this out. Love that counter kick from Lucille. Yeah, evades the leg kick. That's straight back with the again. left. Lucino moving the southpaw for a moment there. Few big kicks in the opening round from Lucille. Blocking that high kick with the wrist. Not recommended. Not recommended, no. Nice patient start from Lucille. Few big leg kicks for round number one. And Lucy trying to start and find a leg kick there. Mm. Left kick landing big. Fanny appears to be a, a ten. Ooh, that Ooh, high kick. That was Comes shockingly over close. Over the top of glove. That was close. Fanny uh, appears to be attempting a volume based, quite boxing centric approach. She's certainly moving a lot. They would be well aware of. Lucy's style, yeah. what she's managed to do over the last few years, Australian Muay Thai Hugh. Yeah, no doubt they've studied, and, and this is the tactic that they feel paid dividends. Now, Catch Tom and sweep attempt, good balance from Lucille. Now, it did look like Tomasino ate a teep to the face with zero concern towards yep. the end there, Hugh. I'm not sure if you caught that, but <laughs> she, she didn't really care about it. Wasn't bothered. We might get another look at it here. Here we go. There's what we discussed. Lots of movement from Fanny, but thus far appears to just be walking into Lucille's kicks. She's switching stance, and there's... There's that high kick. That's almost <laughs> wrapped around the back of the neck. <laughs> wow. Good guard from Lucille. A few big leg kicks. There's, there's that teep to the face There's that about. teep to the face. Very good balance from Lucy there. Nice first round will be good for the confidence of the red corner. Well, we've got five more rounds, to, uh, four more rounds to figure this out here. <laughs> Interesting match stylistically. I'm, I'm excited to see how this evolves. Very similar starts around them too. A lot of movement from the blue corner. High volume punching approach. Don't hit the canvas. They come into the clinch. Let's see who this favours. Good inside lock from Lucy. We haven't seen a lot of clinch yet. Stop. Lock it up. Stop, let go. Not a lot Stop. on that exchange. Rod's not having it. And the clinch reaches the stalemate, of course, the referee will break it and separate the fighters. Hands from Tomasino there. Yeah. Whoa. Is that a high kick again? No, Tomasino says no thanks. <laughs> Unfazed. Beautiful left kick. Fanny absolutely charging with those punches. And, and this is where the rule set's important. You know, we've got high volume hands versus big powerful kicks. It yeah. needs to be effective. Yeah. You have to show visible damage on your opponent with those punches for them to be a scoring consideration. Back to the clinch we go. Body lock from Blue. Stop! Stop! Once again, neither Stop. side really getting their knees going. Lucy there appeared more or less kind of just content to let the referee break mm -hmm. it. You know, she might have had a bit of strength from her opponent. Yeah. Just decided not to waste her energy. That high kick appears to be on the agenda for Lucille. And Tomasino's going to have to really keep an eye on that one. Yeah. Especially when she is coming in with those busy flurries of punches. Right hand from Lucy's landed well a couple of times. And that big leg chop. Yeah. Now when Lucille is landing that leg kick, it's it's a heavy leg kick. You can hear it and you can see some wealth coming up from Tomasino's yeah. leg already. But look, she's, she's come here from Las Vegas <laughs> to fight you. Absolutely, she has very busy looking to Smother Lucille a little bit, I feel. Just stay in her face. Lucille thus far doing well to trust her guard against those punches and, and land the big kicks. You know, it's always great to see, you know, a, 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 a tight stylist that's a little bit more like Lucille, a bit more measured, not not fall into the trap and get involved in that, that high volume style. You know, they stick to, to what they do, what yeah. they know, what they prepared for. And I feel like Lucille's doing a really good job of doing that right now. Yeah.
Uh, you can even see a difference in approach when it comes to the punching. Uh, Lucille let her hands go a little bit more that round, but was quite a bit more measured about, um, you know, quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. Just let a couple of those punches from uh, the blue corner bounce off her gloves and just land, thread one good right hand. Make sure the there's that yeah. big bang at the end. Of course, more interested in playing the kick game, so the punches are a little bit more of a means to an end. Good switch kick from Lucio there. Yeah. Straight back to that leg again. Happy to play a back foot game against the aggressive fans on the scene. Definitely a lot of aggression coming out of the blue corner. Blue corner calling for pressure. Nice left hook. Going with the elbows. Oh, hey. Here comes the elbows. I feel like Tomasino's got a bit of strength in the clinch there. She's, she looks strong, yeah. She's significantly shorter, but she seems to be doing well there. Stop. Yeah. Look at that good cross face nice there on Lucille. Nice cross face position to take away Lucille's posture on the break. Maybe in Funny's best interest to use those hands to pressure into the clinch. Oh, elbow for elbow. Yeah, Lucille looking to hold her space here. Back into the clinch. There's that cross face again. Oh, left elbow over the top from Tomasino. Blue corner is hunting for elbow. Big right elbow over the top of Lucille's arm. Look, at this side, Blue corner's, you know, she feels comfortable in the clinch and she's going to it. It looks like, and I think that might have been a call from the corner in between yeah. rounds. Let's box our way in yeah. there and, get, and, and start throwing those elbows. Probably having the most success she's had thus far in the fight. Having said that, this is a danger running into, you know, the kick game of Lucille. Yeah. You throw in hands. Everything's a risk at this point, at this level. Big crossing elbow from the blue corner. Doing well to come over the top of Lucille's arm and make it cut now. Tomasino's really keeping this aggressive in the corner. She's, she's alternating knees and elbows. Really great work from both fighters here. Good back and forth kick change. Lucille's got a couple of knees going out of the corner in the final 10 seconds of this round. Oh. Big, there's that big high kick attempt, lands over the glove. Beautiful switch kick on the, on the disengagement. Fantastic round, Hugh. Very competitive round number three. Now, do you, do you think we'll see the blue corner come out looking for that clinch again? I think based on what we've seen thus far in fight, that has to be the, the clearest path to victory if there is one. Yep. Now, if you're in Lucille's corner, what are we thinking about? Are we going to be uh, assuming that Blue's going to come in fast and we're going to keep her away from these big kicks? I have to think so. It's, it, it, it's a footwork game, play off the ropes. And you know to play this clinch game, Penny's got to come in very aggressively, which does leave room for perhaps that high kick that Lucy's tried a couple mm -hmm. of times. Mm -hmm. It's a good tactic. Or just keep chipping away with that left body kick and score the points as Penny tries to come in. Mm -hmm. Seconds down. This one's a good off around. Round number four. First fight is very happy to be here. <laughs> Any leg kick. kick, yeah. High kick attempt again. Back into that clinch. Yeah, yeah, blue go. corner, yep, looking straight up for that aggression. Good luck. Pulls Lucy's posture there. Both fighters looking for that elbow. Stop. Not a lot happening in Go. that exchange. Shock. When they clinch up, the blue corner looks strong. She oh. just pulled Lucy's head right down, took and, her posture away. And that says a lot being the shorter fighter. Yep. That's the game you want to play. That's where you want to be if, you, if you're um, taking a pitch based approach as the shorter, stockier fighter as that is. And look, and I, and I, and I don't want to um, play just this game with Lucy. Yeah. She's going to kick me to pieces. Yeah. Lucy gets her knees up the centre as Fanny battles for position. Elbow up the centre, but does create an opening there as that elbow slips through. Both sides have to be careful not to get over-aggressive with the elbows where they give away position. There's a big kick from Lucy again. Look, I've got a feeling Tomasino is going to keep this pace up for the duration of the fight. Yeah, sheeping away in that leg. You can see that having an effect. Yeah. And they're starting to get heavy. Big knee from Lucille there. Lucy is doing some good work with the knees, but Fanny appears to be Ooh. the stronger. Oh! Big right elbows. 
I'd like to see Fanny not forget about her knees here, though. Lucille's definitely getting some really good left knees yeah. in there from that position. And another. Stop! As the slightly longer fighter, she's, she's in the advantage position to land those. Whoa! High kick. Big right hand from Tomasino. Looking great work from Tomasino walking into such a high guard there, yeah. knowing that Lucille's high kick's coming because yeah. had she not had the perfect guard for that, for that last moment, she would have eaten one. Definitely. Let's have a look at this replay. There's that high kick again. It's definitely an elbow approach from Tomasino in the blue corner. Oh, there's that right elbow. Big swing. That's a right hand we talked about. Once she established the threat of those elbows, had some room on the break of that clinch of that middle distance to start getting some punches going. Lucille, though, landing a lot of good scoring knees. Really measured. Yeah. Um, effective in her strikes. Yep. Look, this is, a, this is another hard one to judge here. It's an elbow. Nice second down, guys. Second down. Second down, please. Let's make some noise for both players. Hey, Thomasino, just really excited to be here. Yeah. And the final round of what a match has been, Hugh. How about the output from Fanny Thomasino? She is relentless. Yeah. Here comes those elbows again. Still plenty of gas and tank coming around number five. I can show you her leg will be sore, Stop. but she's not letting it affect her, her movement. Stop. Only has 24 odd hours to fly home. Yeah. <laughs> And she's really hunting that clinch now, isn't she? Here? Yeah, the hunting the clinch and very aggressively looking at elbow. Body lock drives Lucy across the ring. Now, it's not often you see the shorter fighter hunting the clinch. But for a shorter fighter to play a clinch game, taking the right approach. Really pulling Lucy down to her level, controlling the posture. Wow. I think she's a strong girl, Hugh. She's strong, yeah. Lucille, well, she's not getting outdone in the clinch everywhere. Oh, beautiful cat. Beautiful work for there from Lucille. Lucy just busy with those kicks every time they do come, come back to that distance. And she alternates so well from that right leg kick to that switch kick. Yeah. Kick, kick, kick as soon as she's got the space because she knows Fanny's going to come in looking back for that clinch. There it is again. Heavy leg kick. Heavy leg kick. Heavy left knee. Attempts to roll the right elbow over the top again. Lucy counters with the left knee. A real battle in this clinch. Really good clinch, clinch battle today, Hugh. Big Ooh. high kick. And straight back in. Thomasina knows where she's having success here. She's relentless about going back for it. Once again, good cross face. Oh! Disrupts Lucy's breathing, makes things uncomfortable. Right elbow of Lucy's own. Yep. Lucy's still game here. Final 10 seconds. Big kick from Lucy. Both and sides look to score some last minute points. And Fanny just wants to stay in the pocket, doesn't she? Another elbow for Fanny. What a fight. <laughs> what a fight. Whoa. A real clinch war.
Both sides seem happy with their work. Both expecting to get the nod from the judges. Let's see what they made of it. <laughs> the Lucille fans are going nuts. Over to John Demicoli for the official decision. Just having a look at Fanny's leg, that is not going to feel great tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards for a decision. We have a unanimous points decision to your winner from Red Corner, Lucy! And another great win for Lucille. An absolute warrior in this Muay Thai ring.